Here's a severe weather briefing taped from the National Weather Service in La Crosse, Wisconsin for June 28, 2014. We have uh, three rounds of severe weather that are possible across the area starting today, mainly late this afternoon and into tonight in southeastern Minnesota and northeast Iowa. Damaging winds, heavy rainfall, and possibly a tornado are all possible during this time frame. The main chances for severe weather for most of the area come in on late Sunday afternoon and night for uh, large hail, damaging winds, heavy rainfall, and tornadoes are all possible. And our confidence is the highest with this scenario for at least seeing some storms. Where they're going to be, um, it's a little bit up, up in the air at this point, but uh, it looks like that's when we're going to have our most unstable atmosphere to see a lot of these uh, large storms come through. And then going into Monday afternoon, another chance for storms there in the northeast Iowa and southwest Wisconsin with the large hail, damaging winds, and heavy rainfall then. But our confidence is not as high with that time frame because the storms might be a little bit further to the south and not reaching the area. Here's the current look at the uh, weather maps here. We had a complex of storms develop out west uh, with the storm system that's moving in for us today. And as that moves in, we'll see our storms developing just off to our west and moving in later on this afternoon and into tonight. Here's a look at the weather map where we've got <clears throat> southeasterly winds with a very humid air mass underneath there with the warm front shifting to the north. So uh, that humid air is really going to cause uh, our atmosphere to become a little bit more unstable as this next uh, cold front moves in tonight. So like I mentioned, here's a forecast map for 1 o'clock this afternoon. As that cold front moves across the Dakotas, we'll have storms developing out in western Minnesota and western Iowa. As that shifts to the east later on uh, towards this evening, those storms and showers will move further to the east into southeast Minnesota, northeast Iowa, maybe even into western Wisconsin. And then as it continues to move east overnight, uh, we'll see those storms shifting off to the east as well. The main severe chances will likely be before this time uh, going into the, the late afternoon and early evening hours, but uh, continuing to be possible for some more sporadic severe weather going into the overnight hours. As that front, the storms will move to the east for Sunday morning, so we'll have a break here where we actually should clear out going in through Sunday morning, but as we clear out, that'll just kind of recharge the atmosphere and give us another shot for uh, seeing some uh, severe weather Sunday afternoon and evening. And that front will stall out just to our south, it looks like, for Monday. And if it tracks a little bit further to the north, a little bit more of the area might see some more chances for severe weather, but uh, remains a little bit uncertain kind of based on what happens tonight and again on Sunday with the, the storms and where the front ends up. So here's the area that, for at least today and into tonight, is most has the highest chances of seeing severe weather. The area in the, the yellowish here is where the Storm Prediction Center has a slight risk for severe weather. But this is the main area that is uh, could possibly see the severe weather. Still could see some going into western Wisconsin and these parts along the Mississippi River, but it just might be a little bit more sporadic. This is more for any kind of widespread severe weather. Going into Sunday and Sunday night, you can see that most of the area is under this yellow air, yellow shade where severe weather might be possible for a big chunk of this area. Kind of expecting storms to develop along the line from the Twin Cities going back towards Sioux City, Sioux Falls out here, and then kind of drifting off to the southeast uh, through the night. And then going into Monday with that front further to the south, storms will likely be along that front or further to the south. So the possibility is there that this could go a little bit further to the north, but uh, time will kind of tell with how storms react over the next few days. Heavy rainfall ex ex expected again uh, over the next uh, few days with these storms, a couple rounds of heavy rainfall, maybe an inch or so tonight, uh, another inch or so possible with the storms on Sunday. And then uh, most of the activity looks like it stays to the south on Monday, but that could shift to the north as well if uh, the boundary goes a little bit further to the north. So looking over the next five days, mainly central Iowa is kind of looking at getting the most rainfall. But again, this 
axis of higher rainfall could shift to the north. So it's something we're going to have to watch. So again, just a couple reminders of the main highlights. There's three main rounds of severe weather that are going to be possible. The first one comes in uh, late this afternoon and into tonight for mainly southeast Minnesota, northeast Iowa. The second one on Sunday afternoon and night for most of the region. And then on Monday afternoon and evening for northeast Iowa and southwest Wisconsin. And again, most of the severe weather aspects of damaging winds, tornadoes, hail, large hail, heavy rainfall are all going to be possible with these storms. So some certainty, uncertainty still exists concerning when the storms are going to come through and what kind of mold they'll be in if they'll be these this long line of storms where we see more damaging winds or individual storms where the tornadoes will be a little bit more possible. And then the details of the storm with them mainly being in the nighttime hours today and then into tomorrow, but more likely to see daytime storms on uh, on Monday. If you're a storm spotter, uh, most likely we'll need you on Sunday, but it's possible we'll need you tonight and again on Monday. If you have any kind of uh, rain gauges, any kind of information on how much rain you got will also be uh, handy for us as well. So that's our weather briefing for Saturday, June 28th.